and welcome along. Once again, we are going big here on Estantula Pacho. And uh, and today we have quite a bit of uh, uh, cleanup work and, uh, and setup work to do. Uh, as you can see, post harvest, our uh, our fent ideal here is pretty mucky, as is its header. Uh, and in fact, most of our equipment around here is our field python is. Our, uh, our Kinsey could do with a bit of a wash down. Um, our Fent, actually, our, uh, our Fent uh, 1042 is looking a bit clean. So uh, that one we don't need to. And uh, same goes for our Kenworth here and its trailers. But I've kind of got these out of the way at the moment. Uh, because we need to put all this stuff away. Uh, we've also got a plow here that needs repair and sort. So we're going to be doing all of that today. Uh, we've also, we need to get set up for our sugar cane. So next episode, we're going to be doing the sugar cane harvest. Uh, we need to get our stuff together for that as well. Uh, so without further ado, and, uh, and to clear some space around here, uh, let's get the header cleaned up. And, uh, and then what we can do... Is uh, once we've got that done and that out of the way, we'll get the combine cleaned, uh, washed down and put away. Uh, we'll then deal with the field python and the overloader. And, uh, and with all of that out of the way, uh, we'll then be able to go and concentrate on getting our, uh, getting our sugar cane sorted, which will be fantastic. I, I'm really looking forward to getting the sugar cane done on here. It's something we've been building up to for a while. There we go. And uh, and as a result, we're gonna we're gonna be in a really good position with it. It's uh, a nice renewable crop as well. It's something we only have to plant once. Uh, hence why we have returned the uh, returned the planter for it because we've only got one field and we're not we're not planning to do any more. I need to make sure we clear that. Good. Uh, yeah, but we need to get our harvester away. To, to sort that out half tempted as this is our, our penultimate episode on this map to sell our uh, our ideal so that we can buy the uh, the sugar cane harvester but to be honest I don't think that's overly realistic you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, when trying to set this a uh, farm like this up you wouldn't go and try and uh, sell your uh, you wouldn't sell your main harvester to do that so uh, to me that's a little bit unrealistic uh, and uh, and therefore I'm not looking to do it right I want to get this along this side here we can park this along the side here and nicely out of the way it also uh, we also won't have the problem that we had last time so unclip that and uh, and move our tractor out of the way just park that down uh, down the side here at the moment I want to get the combine out of the way first. There we go. Uh, and it's gone quite well. I, uh, we got 51,000, just over 51,000 off uh, after we've uh, re removed our um, our deficit, which is good. Can't go any further. So that's good. Uh, that should easily be enough for us to get our sugarcane equipment. We obviously can't buy it outright, uh, but we can hire it, uh, and that should do the job quite nicely. There we go. That's clean. And so, uh, yeah, hiring our sugarcane equipment uh, is something we need to do for now. Uh, and then in future, uh, the idea would be uh, as the sugarcane gets worth more to us, and maybe we look at expanding into uh, more sugar cane, uh, maybe in this uh, around this farmyard. Uh, then we would have um, we would have that ability and be able to uh, to then go and buy the equipment. There we are. Sugar cane is supposed to be quite a profitable uh, uh, quite a profitable crop to do in the game, simply because more than anything. Uh, Sugarcane, as I said, is renewable. So as it's a renewable crop, you're in a position where you're you're not having to reseed it every time. I'm guessing you're still having to fertilise it. But I'm guessing you're not having to, to do lime every third crop. Um, it would be interesting to find that out. We're not... Unfortunately, we're never going to be able to find that out on here. We might do that on another American map. Uh, if we found another sort of southerly, southerly American map, 
Uh, we may do some more sugar cane. So obviously that's currently not something we're looking to do. Cotton and sugarcane are stuff that I would love to do on a map going forward. There we go. That's that done. Right, so this wants to go over this end here and slot in front of this trailer. Oh. Not the biggest amount of space. But we should be able to, with all this stuff on tracks, this should be able to reverse into here quite neatly. There we go. As it turns on a dime. So you're... There we are. Right. So the next thing we want is, uh, is we want to sort this plow out, get this plow done. And then what we're going to do with this tractor, actually, is we're going to get this going and... Uh, Pairing, which is why it is in there. Now, will our hose reach? It might do. Yeah, it will. Perfect. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll get this uh, this repaired and get this out of here. Then we're going to go and get this uh, the piping cultivated. So, while we're we're not probably not going to end up actually doing any seeding uh, of our of the uh, sunflowers, sunflowers would be next. In Field six. Uh, we are still going to prepare the field. It's uh, again in keeping with the realism. You wouldn't just. We're, we're not looking to just leave it. We would. Uh, we would keep going as if we were going to be uh, continuing. There we go. There we are. Right. Let's go put this in the lean-to shed over here, and then we can go and park up. Oh, uh, then we, uh, next to it actually is the piece of kit we want. And then we can go and get our trailers out of the way as well. We're not, we're not needing to wash those. Right, there we are. That down there. Drop off our Lemkin Titan and get our cultivator out. So yeah, this is going to be, uh, going and cultivating the fields. Ooh. Uh, this is going to be going and cultivating where we've just had our soybeans in. Come on. Swing it around like that. There we go. Uh, and prepare it for uh, for the sunflowers, uh, which would be the next crop that we would put in here. No need for lime on this. I think we limed it just before we put the last set of uh, soybeans in. So that's all good. Right. Put a hired worker off on that. And away they go. So, uh, yeah, that is being nicely cultivated. Fantastic. And getting rid of the weeds as well, which of course now are now infesting the field. And we can just slot through these bushes here. Where we're going to go and get our uh, our lorry, our truck. Uh, so we're going to park our two um, gravity trailers here. We're going to park those in the shed, and then um, and then yeah, take this down to the shop, get ourselves sorted with our sugarcane stuff, which will be uh, which is going to be massively useful. I mean, it's the sugarcane. I think will uh, will do us well. And we are very much going for the one-man sugarcane setup. Right, how far are we? Have we got all of our trailer in? We have. We need enough space for the sprayer to get out. So there we go. Uh, we have the back one selected. So we want the front one and disconnect that. Right. And uh, now we're going to head down to the shop. And pick out our... Uh, Pick out our sugarcane equipment, uh, which should be a nice array of equipment, I think. Uh, and yeah, as you can see on our right here, our sugarcane is ready to do. So I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting this kit and uh, and trying out some sugarcane work uh, to finish off this series. I think that's going to be a great way to go. Let's go and get ourselves a harvester.
Here we are down at the shop. Uh, so we'll just pull in over here next to this car and get ourselves sorted. Off with the truck. And through these doors over here. So we've got 51,220. First up, we want the harvester. Uh, that is... Uh, 17,799 to lease. So we're going to do that. We want to get on it uh, a trailer hitch as well. Uh, because we, we're we basically doing a one-man band thing. I'm hoping that's going to work. So uh, let's lease that. Now we need to get this back to the yard as well. Or back to our field as well. Uh, we're going to need a low loader for that. So we're going to take the gold hoffer. Uh, we're going to do that in uh, the John Deere green, which happens to be the uh, Virtual Farmer green as well. So uh, we're going to lease ourselves one of those. Then uh, the other stuff we need, uh, we need in the sugarcane technology, we need a, uh, a Colossus. Uh, so this holds 22,000. Uh, basically, we're going to take one of these random trailers as well, which holds 66,000 litres. So the idea is that the Massey, which is more expensive, is 28. So that would only be two loads of that and wouldn't, it wouldn't make 60,000 litres. Uh, this would do three loads and make 60,000. And this would do, uh, I think it's, it's gets, yeah, 60, 60,000 with, uh, five loads. So the Colossus is, is our best bet from this. Uh, so we're going to customize that. We are going to hire it. We're going to put it in the case red, seeing as it's going behind our harvester. And we'll lease that as well. And then finally, as I said, uh, we want the random trailer. The main colour we're going for is the John Deere green. The rim colour we're going for is the John Deere yellow. Uh, because again, those are the virtual farmer colours. And uh, I'm going to lease that as well. So there we are. We are, we are 26,326 left. Uh, which is fantastic. Uh, and here is all of our equipment. So there's our random trailer. Uh, there is the Colossus, uh, which we're going to use to unload into it. There is the uh, Goldhofer uh, low loader. And there's a harvester, uh, which is a grand case harvester. I'm hoping we're going to get another harvester at some point. Uh, single sugarcane harvester is always a little bit disappointing. Uh, and I kind of hoped we might get maybe a John Deere one uh, in FS19. In FS but, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem that it was to be. Right, so where is our trailer? Here we go. There we go. Right, we're lining up more for our harvester there. I'm hoping that's, uh, that must be, I could see just over the seat there, that must be some indication of where we are. There we go. So pull this forward, we'll turn around. So that uh, it's easy for our harvesting to get on. And come on, and detach our trailer. So uh, there, detach, there we go. And then we just pull this forward. And as you can see, Works perfect. Harvester on next. So we're going to reverse the harvester on. And these are these are some funny looking pieces of kit. These, uh, <laughs> this this harvester. Love it, but it is a funny looking bit of kit. Right, we need to activate that. Get right up to the back plate. 
then we get home. Now, do we have... I'm really, really hoping I have a tow hitch on this. Because that's going to make oh, things really easy. So, we can get the Colossus back easily next time. This will only be two trips. Let's reverse this up. I do like this Kenworth. This is a really nice thing. I think when we go on to another American map, we are going to have to take this Kenworth with us. Because it is just a, a cracking truck. It really is. Right, so let's get our harvester back to our field uh, where we can then get it unloaded. And, uh, and yeah, we can then come back and get our other pieces. Uh, which will then allow us to uh, to be set up ready for next time, ready for harvesting the sugar cane. Coming up to our field now, and uh, we're going to start it off at this top end here. So I'm just going to pull in and disconnect the trailer here I think. I think this is as good a place as any. Right, and just pull forwards. There we go. Plenty of space to get our harvester off here. And this is a fantastic looking piece of kit. Start her up. Pull her forwards. Should turn on a dime. Yeah, there we go. And uh, and yeah, looking absolutely fantastic. So we'll leave that there. Turn that off. Uh, nicely parked in that spot. Uh, we just need to connect up our trailer, our low loader, back to our truck. Head back down to the shop. And get this, uh, and get the rest of our stuff. As I said, it should be pretty easy. We do have a tow hitch on the back of the big uh, random tipper. And what we can do uh, when we have a, a full trailer behind our harvester is basically just drive this up beside it and uh, and get it to tip. Hopefully. Uh, that'd be really good. Alternatively, we could, uh, we might be able to use the fence to just drive up behind and do that. Uh, possibly even just get the harvester to be on the, um, uh, to be on a hired worker even, and do it that way. We will, we will explore. We will explore all the ways that we can possibly do a uh, do this on here. I think. I think that would be a good way to go. See what we can do. There we are. Not far to chop. One of the nice things about this truck, uh, this truck actually, is it's fast as well. So while I'd normally uh, cut this journey, uh, it, <laughs> it really gets to the shop faster than I realised with me talking. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's hook this up. Right. Reverse up to this. I do like the visibility in this Kenworth is brilliant as well. Although the visibility for this next bit is not as good. Be. Yeah, look at the size of that truck, of that trailer. up. Oh, please connect. Just that we're, oh, we're missing it at the moment, that's why. No? No. Ah, oh, right. Okay, we'll get this back up to the field and, uh, and we'll bring our tractor back down and, uh, and come and get that uh, that is massively annoying. Really is. Right. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go back up to the farm and uh, and get our tractor, uh, get our 1048, and uh, and bring it back.
I do realise that what I uh, what I said when I uh, when I went to get this just before that uh, that cut uh, was that uh, I was going to get my 1048. What I meant, of course, was my 1042. Uh, it's, it would be a 1038 or a 1042, and uh, of course, we upgraded from a 1038 to a 1042 not too long ago. Um, but it should do this fine. Uh, oh, this is this is overpowered uh, for what we're using this for at the moment. But uh, then that tends to be the stuff on here. We are we are as I say going big on this series as we have been for the last. Well, this is the twenty first episode, and uh, and yeah, it's it's been quite good. Other than uh, you know, other than having to accelerate things a bit, we at no point have been been worried that we're we're going to be in a position where we're not we're never going to have any money or anything like that we're always uh, we've always been making money one way or the other and uh, and yeah this is this is the culmination this is where we want to be um we from here from here we should just be able to expand out we should be able to just keep getting more money in uh, I would be very interested I think in uh, expanding this field more and uh, and maybe getting some more sugarcane going I think it would be uh, a very good way to work things right now this trailer should hook up to our harvester just going to pull this in the back here disconnect this and just check that this is all going to work how I hope it is. Right, so start up our harvester. Reverse it. Oh, now that's a little bit crazy. That does not hook up to that. <clears throat> so I don't quite know why that has on there. If we do that though, and get that harvester going. We do have this alternative. Right, hook this up, bring it alongside, and hopefully, yeah, there we go. Like so. And that harvester actually moves fairly swiftly. I mean, we're going eight, nine miles an hour, which is pretty cool, and uh, and doing and very nicely. So I think we're going to leave this here. Trying to keep up with it is uh, is proving to be quite a task in and of itself, but we should be all right. Yeah, there we go. So I'm actually really happy with that. That's uh, that's working well. We are going to get doing this next time we will do more of this next time and uh, and get this field done uh, but it certainly seems at the moment to be uh, working very well and very nicely so I'm uh, very happy with that so all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for the latest videos and live streams from Birch Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.